So now we made it to the Petco and there are actually a few choices and different sizes. So I'm gonna show you guys and then um, I'm gonna pick. So let's get it. That one is a definite no. He looks speed up. Those two look good. That guy does not look that good. That little guy over there looks super good. This guy right here. I might take the little guy. That guy over there. Or am I going with one that's a little bigger? So he's going right there. That one, right? Yep. I know my channel is only about fish, but look at this thing. Here, hold it here. That is awesome. Show their arm. That is beautiful. So now that the uh, arowana has been acclimating for about 20 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and release it into this 125 with the two peacocks, the Midas, and the bonsai flower horn. So uh, let's get it, guys. Go ahead and release this big boy. Super tiny fish. Definitely gonna get checked out by the Midas. So now that we're in my fish room, I figured it'd be a good idea to show you guys one, my huge tanks with the predator fish that I have in them and uh, the 100 gallon that has the angel fish and my few little predatory fish. So you guys can see what I am, one, growing out, two, uh, already big what I have already big and what's going in the pond. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on So let's go and start from biggest to smallest and uh, I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. So let's get it So the tank you just saw, that was the 200 gallon tank with the pond fish, the big, big fish. Those guys are not staying there for good. As you guys know, they're just getting medicated after they're done. I will be putting them back in the pond. I will probably grow some more fish out in that tank, like the jag. I'll probably keep him in there and grow them out a little bigger, but we'll see what happens. Now, let's take a look at the 125 and uh, yeah, let's get it.
Now let's go ahead and talk about this Angel tank with the Tiger Barbs. The controversial tank. Should they or should they not be together? No one knows. I just scrubbed the tank. I had a little bit of algae. That's why you're seeing the nastiness. I'm not going to lie. I do. This is probably the tank that I don't take care of the most. Um, but I still take care of it. I do water changes and everything. I just don't scrub it like I really should. But everyone is doing really, really great. Everyone's happy. Here my deformed angel. Down here, I am healing up my jag, which is right there. That's the baby one, the little one. It's my little jag. But he's, he's in the sub right now. Cause I have nowhere else to put them. So I just gotta remember to keep them fed, which I do. Got some Tetras in here. I got all kinds of fish. I got two catfish down there. I hand feed all the time. My retired angel fish, all kinds of stuff in here. Floating plants, we got it all. So after that tank, now we're gonna move on to my 60 gallon squared, which has a bunch of Nana fish and uh, my, some of my angels that I'm growing out for Aquafunk. So let's take a look at this tank and then we'll move on upstairs, guys. Let's get it. So, so far I showed you all my tanks from downstairs, the big monster tanks. Now, if we're moving up here so I can show you my predatory fish, my show fish, and my free fish. So let's get it. Guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough of my fish tanks, the little predators and my show fish 
and the fish that I'm growing out to become wonderful, wonderful specimens. Guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, me picking up this arowana. If you have a name for it, leave it down below. Let me know which was your favorite tank and which, you know, if, if you like the pond. I didn't show the pond, but you know which fish are going in there. Uh, eventually, we will be switching around some fish, but right now I'm going to let them sit the way they are, guys. So, till next time, hope you enjoy. Don't forget to comment, leave a like if you enjoy this video. See you next time, guys. Peace, peace.